Hello Libras. This is your reading for the 15th through the 16th. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Please hit the like button to the video and subscribe. I'm going to pull some Romance Angels cards first for you guys. See what they have to say today. Let's see. What messages do we have for Libra? Let's see. Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Like it? What else do we have for Libra? Hmm. True love. This is the romance of a lifetime. Beautiful. Hmm. Okay, engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. I feel like some of you guys are definitely on a path to meeting uh, the one, honestly. Um, maybe some of you have been praying for that certain person to come into your life that's meant to be for you. And um, like manifesting some, some stuff here. Some good stuff for you guys. Okay. Let's see what other messages Tarot has. Hmm, the Empress. Oh, yeah. You know, the way you guys are growing and opening yourselves up, um, you know, doing new things, being the initiator, just creating, you're opening up a gateway for yourself here. Okay? Um, feeling confident, feeling beautiful, inside and out. Finances are together. I feel like every aspect of your life is like coming together right now. And the only thing you guys feel like is not, um, you know, the way that you want it to be is possibly your love life. And I feel that that is about to change here. Okay. Because there is definitely new love on the horizon for you guys being that you are starting to really kind of love yourselves and pamper yourselves here you are opening yourself up to um i feel like a great love here then you have the ace of swords oh yeah there's some things that you guys are realizing that is that's bringing you joy and happiness right now okay the way you're thinking, the way you're feeling, the way you're maneuvering, um, it, it's, it's really going to bring you some, some, some good things into your life, okay? Something you guys are learning as well about someone, I feel. Maybe there's a newfound um, attraction to someone or, or some information that you guys are now privy to that... You didn't necessarily, you know, you didn't have before is what I'm getting here. There's something that you guys are learning about an individual, maybe an earth sign, um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, individual, doesn't have to be. But I'm getting that there's somebody that you guys feel like you know something about or there's something that you know about or you're learning right now. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. I feel like this is you um, definitely moving, shifting stuff, moving stuff out of your out of your way, like moving things out of your life, thoughts, um, people, anything that you feel like does not serve your higher good. It's like you're you're moving that out of your way. Okay, and getting out of your own way is what I feel you guys are doing. It seems like I've told you guys before in a different reading that you have to kind of, you know, get out of your own way. Don't block yourself from what it is that you truly deserve. And I feel you guys are definitely doing that. Okay, let's see. King of Swords is there. I feel like there's a strong air energy, probably Capricorn um, as well. But um, Aquarius energy that that loves you guys. This person loves you guys, whoever this is. And I, I'm feeling like this person may, you know, they're coming here as a king of swords. 
in the fact that they are in control of their emotions. They come across um, like they, you know, are not really phased by things or, or what have you. But I'm getting that this person is learning how to, like, devote their time and energy into situations that that they feel like they want to be involved in. They're not used to it, okay? They're not, like, used to giving all of themselves here. And I feel like that's why um, there's something that you're realizing about them that this is just the way that they are. Whoever this individual is, I'm feeling like you guys know who this individual is, okay? And I feel that they do not want you to move on without them. They are wanting you to see just how much they care for you. Whoever this is, I feel like you guys know exactly who this is. They come across very kind of aloof, non-caring, um, like they're not phased by situations. They can even be, you know, maybe a little cold sometimes, you feel. Um, not sharing a whole lot. Not even like devoting a lot of time and energy to you, you feel. Like they're not active enough. But this person, I feel, is just not used to it. Not saying that it's a good thing, but I think you know this about them, okay? The King of Pentacles. Definitely, I feel that they want to, this person wants to spend some time with you. This person wants to be committed to you. They want to. Capricorn Aquarius individual here. And I feel like this person really wants to take care of you and they want to speak some truth to you. They want to tell you exactly how they feel about you guys. Could be two people here, but I'm feeling strongly this is the same person. Okay. They love you. They feel this very strong attachment to you guys. Now you have three aces. Something brand spanking new is happening for you. There is a potential for a very stable connection between you and this individual. They really want to be with you. They really want to offer you something. The, the fact is, though, there is no action being taken in this case. Okay? There's no action being taken here. There are no wands here. Only swords, cup, one cup, and pentacles. Lots of thinking. Um, lots of time spent thinking. And not a lot of action is going on in this situation, okay? But um, I feel you guys definitely are making strides in your life in general. And you are definitely calling in the person who I feel like you guys are meant to be with here. Seven of Wands. I feel like you are blocking this individual though. I feel that you're blocking this energy it's giving you a headache before. Okay. It's giving you a headache before. This person, I think they feel a little intimidated by you guys because they feel like it's over. They feel like you're not going to want to be bothered with them. Today. <laughs> yes. They feel like you don't want to be bothered. Hmm. Nine of Swords is there. I'm feeling that, you know, somebody here, whether it's you or the other person, feels strongly that the other person is not going to, um, like they're not serious, that they're not going to, they don't want anything um, long term, that this person's going to dip out, um, this person's going to disappoint you, you know, that sort of thing. Either you're feeling this way about this individual or they're feeling this way about you guys. Um, but with the nine of swords and the five of pentacles here, that's not true. That's not true. 
okay so whether it's you feeling like this person is not that serious that um, you guys are not gonna have an equal exchange an equal give and take this person's not gonna give you what you give them I don't feel that that's true okay and if this is them thinking this way I still don't feel like that's true either way I think somebody is definitely being um, a worry wart here definitely and then maybe you guys um, really, you know, just not wanting to put up with any bullshit and, and, and blocking out everything. But there is definitely, you have three aces here. Three aces here. Let me pull an angel prayer card for you guys here. Somebody's kind of paranoid in this situation. Inner power. The divine father. Divine father. Thank you for co-creating my world with me. Okay. So what this is telling me, guys, is that I know you guys have it within you. You're, you're doing this. You're calling in your soulmate. You are the magician. Okay. And I feel like, you know, when you start thinking so heavily about things, um, you actually bring that into existence. So if you're being a worry wart, and thinking that this person is not going to be there for you or they're not going to give you what you give them, then that's the way it, it definitely will end up. But if you start thinking positive things and only going by what you see and not what you are dreaming up or imagining, then you will bring in those things that you deserve. Do not make a bigger deal out of things than, you know, what they actually are or do not make something be a certain way you know take it for what it is take it at face value all right guys so that is what i have for you we have leo gemini taurus um i feel capricorn aquarius strong in your reading okay so i will be speaking with you guys soon